Mary, after her assumption into heaven, was exalted by God to the sublime dignity of queen. Mary was exalted to such glory because of her humility. Saint Bonaventure says, Before Mary, all heavenly, earthly, and infernal creatures bow. On earth, Mary was the humblest of creatures, the handmaid of the Lord. Now in heaven, she reigns with unequaled glory above all others. The title as queen was just and fitting for Mary most holy, due to her dignity as mother of God, as mother of Christ the King. If Jesus, being God, is King and Lord of the universe, also his mother, since she participates fully in the royal right of the Son, is Queen and Sovereign of the universe. Mary is also Queen because she was united to Jesus in the work of man's redemption. Jesus, by his death, redeemed souls from the power of the devil. Mary closely united to the Son in the battle against the devil, always brought back victory with him, and acquired the right of queenship over men by participating in the redemption of mankind. Already in the first pages of the sacred scripture that Mary was pre-announced as the victorious woman who will crush the head of the infernal enemy. I will put enmities between thee and the woman, and thy seed and her seed. She shall crush thy head, and thou shalt lie in wait for her heel. Genesis 3.15 Mary is the glorious queen that the prophet saw coming forth, fair as the moon, bright as the sun, terrible as an army set in an array. Canticle 6 verse 9 she is the brilliant woman that John the Evangelist saw appear in heaven, clothed with the sun and the moon was under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Apocalypse 12 verse 1 On the 11th of October 1954, in his encyclical Ad Regenum, Pope Pius XII established the Feast of the Queenship of Mary to be celebrated throughout the world and commanded that, on that day each year, the world should renew its consecration to her. The Feast is a logical follow-up to the Assumption. At present, the Feast is celebrated every 22nd of August. Pope Pius XII emphasized that, the Blessed Mother is the Queen of Heaven and Earth because she is the Mother of God and because of her preeminent perfection and her intercessory prayer. St. Thomas Aquinas affirms that, as the Mother of Jesus, she obtained for herself the majesty of the Kingdom so that she may be the Queen of Mercy, where the Son is the King of Justice. Mary, the Heavenly Queen, exercises her queenly power over men by pardoning and helping her subjects and pacifying the divine justice with her motherly intervention and mercy. Saint Maximilian Mary Colby says, The Immaculata must be and this as soon as possible, the queen of all men. Whosoever resists and does not believe in her love shall perish. Whoever instead acknowledges her as queen and as her soldier goes for the conquest of the world for her, will always live, bear fruit, and develop abundantly.